Hey guys, it's Grayson Stewart and it's Shotguns West Wednesday and I just wanted to, to throw out there, last weekend I was at a sporting clay shoot and the lighting was really low, um, kind of misty and stuff and I had a handful of people come up to me and you know ask me, what lens are you using, you know, are you seeing the targets good? And I mean we had really long conversations about it and stuff and anyways like I just kind of wanted to throw out some opinions and stuff and different ideas on some different lenses. Um, and like I said, I had, you know, pretty good conversations with some of those people and, you know, and it's usually when you talk to some friends or competitors or whatever, or whatever I mean, it's always usually kind of revolves around the same style of lens that might be a little bit different. And that's what I experienced in those conversations. So anyways, today, you know, for the Pila shooters, for the non-Pila shooters that are interested in learning more about the product, um, I just kind of wanted to go through and and point out some some key factors, you know, whether it's you're trying to pick yourself out a lens or get yourself into a new kit or whatever the case. So, um, like I said, um, that lighting was really low, and this is kind of my go-to lens. It's a 68 CIHC, and I mean, I use this for shooting at night, overcast, rainy days. Um, it's worked out really well for me. I've used it for probably two years, and I mean, it's the only lens. It's the only 68 that I bought. I haven't scratched it. And I mean, it just seems to be a really trusty lens. And I mean, I even find myself on the days that's partly cloudy, you know, I still use it. And a lot of that is because it does have the chroma shift, which takes the reflection out of the sun. It also has infrared. And honestly, the, the main thing that I like about it the most is it has an enhanced orange booster inside the lens. So I really feel like, at least for my eyes, that it really pops the orange out of the targets. So. And like one thing for me, like I shoot a ton of different backgrounds. I shoot desert backgrounds, green backgrounds, you know, I shoot over rooftops of houses that are, you know, black backgrounds. So when I got Pila's, like it was really hard for me to figure out lenses that were going to work for everything, but I just kind of lucked out and I guess trial and error. I've been through a lot of lenses and, you know, the main lenses that I have now seem to work really well for me. So, but like I said, I've got some of my most popular lenses here and you know, not only the ones that the most popular inside Shotguns West, but the most popular lenses that I see, you know, like I said, friends and competitors use all over the country. So um, today I kind of wanted to start, stand up here. Um, today I kind of wanted to start with our darker lineup. So here's a 9.5 CIED. Now this lens is pretty new. It's only been around for a few years. And this lens is pretty cool. So it's got the bronze finish and filter and you can kind of see a reflective layer on it. That's the infrared and the chroma shift. So this is Pila's darkest lens that they make. And um, yeah, I mean, definitely super popular. I see a lot of people use it in desert backgrounds, um, you know, super bright, sunny days. So, and then this is the 18 CED. And this is a, uh, this is an older lens, but like I said, I mean, this is one of, this is honestly probably the lens I use the most. And it just seems to work really well for a lot of the backgrounds I shoot. Super bright, sunny days. And this doesn't have the infrared, but it does have the chroma shift, which is that mirrored reflection that you're seeing. So I find that it takes out a lot of the reflection from the sun. And yeah, I mean, it's just, it seems to pop the orange super good. So I really like it. And that's more of like a bronze colored lens. And then this is a 19. And this lens is relatively new. And this has a purple filter on it. So if you're not really big into the bronze, the bronze is more specific to like a desert background where the purple, you know, is more of a versatile background. So if you're like me and you shoot in a lot of backgrounds and they're all different, you know, a, a purple lens might not be a bad way to go. But, you know, once again, it just kind of depends on your eyes and, you know, how your eyes take the different colors and stuff. So to go a little bit more into detail on this, this is a 19 CIN. It has chroma shift and infrared and the infrared is the kind of orangish reflective you see, and the chroma shift is this mirrored reflective over the top. So it takes out all the reflection from the sun. It does have the, the enhanced definition on it. So super popular lens. One of my closest friends uses it all the time. Now we're moving in to the Red Hot Chili Pepper. Now this lens, the only thing that it has is chroma shift. So it's just a straight red lens. And it does, like I said, it does have the chroma shift, so it will take the reflection away from the sun but it's more of a solid filter red lens. So that could work great for desert backgrounds, sandy backgrounds. And then we have a 26 CIED. 
This is the same thing as a 9.5, just lighter. So and that's another thing with PLOs going in from the numbers. So the number that you see on the lens, say 9.5 for example, that's the percentage of light that the lens lets in. So the 9.5 will let in 9.5% light, the 26 will let in 26%. So this is a lighter lens. So if you, you know, were really into the bronze colors, you could go, say a three lens kit, you could do a, a 9.5, a 26, and a 38. Now, those are darker options. Most people like to step more into the lighter filters here for night shooting or overcast days. But like I said, just throwing out ideas today. So anyways, this lens, super popular. I have it, I love it. Infrared, chroma shift, bronze filter. Seems to work great, at, you know, green backgrounds like in Sparta, for example, or desert backgrounds like Tucson, you know, Vegas, Clark County Shooting Complex. So definitely super cool. Now stepping over here. Now we're back into the reds. This is a 28 CR. This is an older lens and this is a raspberry color. So it does have the chroma shift on it and it's just a neutral red color, solid filter with the chroma shift. Now this lens, I had this lens for a while and I did really like it, but at least for me, I had to wear it for like 20 minutes before I shot. It really took my eyes a long time to kind of sink into the color. But, you know, once my eyes kind of got used to it, and I mean, it really popped the orange. One thing I did notice is it turned the orange kind of more of like a pastel color. So it wasn't really like a, a super bright neon orange, it was more like a peach color, which, you know, I mean, for some people that might be great. For me, it didn't really work out, which is why I switched it. And I switched it to the 38 CUD. You know, same thing for me, going back into the bronze lenses, they seem to work out really well. And this lens has chroma shift, infrared, and you know, like I said, the bronze on it. So super cool. I use it in Tucson, I use it at the Grand, Spanish War Gun Club, sporting clays, you know, skeet ranges across the country. So definitely a super versatile lens. And even with it being at 38, you know, letting 38% of the light in, I still use it on, you know, super bright sunny days. And I'm not really a huge fan of super dark lenses. I do like to have a little bit more light in the area. So yeah, I mean, I love it. It's awesome. It seemed to work out really well for me so far. This is a 40 CN. So now we're kind of moving into the purples. So this will let in 40% of the light and it's just a purple filter with chroma shift. So this lens, it's been super popular for the past handful of years. It's been around for a few years, but yeah, I mean, definitely pretty sweet. Green backgrounds, desert backgrounds, you name it. Like I said, purple's super versatile. Now moving down here, we're kind of stepping into some of the peach colors. This is a 55 PWC. Now this is a peach with the chroma shift again. And you know, most people lenses, in fact, I think, I think all of them until maybe like the almost clear ones have the chroma shift on them. So that's nice. Like I said earlier, takes away the reflection of the sun. So to go into more detail on this, this is a peach colored lens. It's a 55, so it'll let in 55% of the light with the chroma shift, super popular. And you know, it works great on green backgrounds, you know, more dull backgrounds. It'll really pop that orange. This is a 54 CIHC. So this is actually more of an orange lens with the infrared and stuff. I don't know if you can really see it on the camera, but it does have that reflective infrared filter with the chroma shift. So another thing this has too is it has HD orange boost. So and that's supposed to pop the orange of the target a lot more. And no different than the 68 CIHC that I said that I really like. You know, same thing with this lens. I really do feel like that orange boost does pop the targets, especially in low light conditions. So super sweet. I think it's awesome people that came out with something like that. Now moving into the 52. We're, like I said, we're going back into the purples. This is a 52 CIN. It's a neutral color. Um, and the, the N and in the, in the CIN actually stands for neutralizer. So this is supposed to kind of neutralize the background, really pop the bright colors like orange, which, you know, I mean, is what we want to pop for the targets. So super cool, infrared, chroma shift, purple. Now this lens, this lens is pretty cool too. I've actually never tried this lens. It's a green lens, it's a 50 CHCL, and same thing, chroma shift. Um, and you know, like I said, I mean, it's everybody's eyes. Some people like this lens, some people don't. And I mean, that's really goes for all the lenses, right? I mean, some people really like purples, some people like bronzes, some people like the peaches. So, 
I mean, the green might be somebody's go-to. It's not mine, but you know, whatever floats your boat. So this is a 47 CIHC. This is just more like an orange rose color. Um, super cool, chroma shift, infrared. It'll let in 47% of the light. So definitely super popular. I see a ton of people using this down in Tucson, Clark County and Vegas. Um, but you know, I also see a lot of people use it at, you know, Spanish Fork, which, you know, you're shooting over black rooftops across about a valley. So, you know, that's more of a dark background with, you know, green from the grass and trees and stuff around it. So, you know, definitely pretty good option here for, for a very versatile lens. And then to step in to some of our lighter options here, this lens is super popular. This is a 60 CHCW watermelon and it's just a standard watermelon. It's got some green, it's got some pink in there and it does have the chroma shift. So super popular lens for overcast days, partly cloudy days, rainy days, you name it. I mean, I see, honestly, I mean, if I could pick five lenses that I see the most, the 60 CHCW is definitely one of the ones that I do see the most on the field. This is a 64 CIB. It's a banana color and it does have the infrared on it. So this is a newer lens. And I will say too, all of the uh, lens bags that have this rainbow on it are newer style lenses. So anything with this, with this turning the color spectrum rainbow on it, that has the infrared on the lens. So, you know, if you're looking at PILA options for different lenses and you think you want the orange boost or the infrared on your lenses, just make sure that whatever lens you buy, if you're into that, has that rainbow on it. So super cool, just a yellow lens, super vibrant. You know, it'd be great for a rainy day, you know, maybe super gray skies. Um, I think this would really pop that orange. Now we're into the 65 CINN. This lens is super similar to the 68 CIHC. The only thing that's different is the 65 CINN has some sort of a little bronze color on it. So it is a little bit darker than the 68. It lets in, or uh, the 68 lets in 3% more light than the 65 does. Uh, but super popular, chroma shift, infrared, it does have the purple neutralizer on it. So yeah, I mean, really cool lens. Um, we already went over the 68, you know, like I said, orange boost, chroma shift, infrared, super cool. And then this is the 70 PWC, and I'm a huge fan of this lens. It's a peach color. I use it at night, rainy days. Um, I do find myself using the 68 more, but I've been super pleased with this lens. The only thing that this lens really is, is just a peach color with a chroma shift. So definitely pretty cool. And then there's a 78 CN. So this is just a solid purple neutralizer with the chroma shift. So yeah, I mean, like I said, that's some of our most popular people lines. Um, and yeah, I mean, definitely a huge variety here from almost every color on the color wheel, but it seems Peel is pretty good at that. And like I said, I mean, everybody's eyes are different, so. It really just breaks down to, to what works best for you. So aside from the lenses, we'll go into a little bit of frame options here. Sit back down. So this is the tread frame. So this is a solid rubber. It has rubber all the way through it. This is the tread fork. So this particular frame is an X6, which is the wider frame. So these lens, or these frames are pretty sweet. They're kind of a sister to the carbon fork here. And the main reason why they came out with this is a lot of people were saying that this little ridge right here on the carbon fork was maybe hurting their ear, you know, over time if they had them on all day or, you know, whatever the case. So they came out with the tread frame that's supposed to be more smooth on the top of your ear. So definitely pretty cool. We have a lot of color options in the tread frames. And then this is the Outlaw CXL. So this is the carbon blinder frame. Excuse me, the blinders do, um, you know, the lens will clip on right there. So they sit super flush with the frame and the lens to block out, you know, the vision from your side and stuff. So super cool. St. Patty's Day is coming up. This is an awesome lens to rock for St. Patty's Day. You know, you can have yourself a corned beef lunch and then go out and shoot your shooting event with these frames on. So super fun idea. That's one thing I really like about Pila is all the different fun frame options they offer and lens options. There's just so much variety that I think is really cool. So then we have the carbon edges here. These, these frames are relatively new. They're straight carbon fiber, super lightweight, titanium metal pieces. So, I mean, super cool. It's got a really cool fade on it. So it goes from blue to silver 
and then silver carbon fiber on the back. So super cool. I shot with these for a long time, really liked them. They fit really tight to your head. They don't seem to move around. And you know, I really, they, they kind of fit like sunglasses. They just go right behind your ear and they stay really tight to your face. So definitely super cool frames. And then to tap in, to our newest frame, this is the Stealth Wing, and this is Shotgun's less exclusive frame. And these things are sweet. It's got titanium metal, super skinny like wireframe sunglasses with the rubber. And the coolest thing about it too is they actually have a little bit of tread back here on the rubber piece that goes to your head for extra grip and stuff. And when we got these, I switched to them from the carbon edges, and I love them. They fit really tight to your face. They're lightweight. You know, they don't move around at all. And I mean, even like when you're sweating and stuff and you've got some sweat like on top of your ear or on the sides of your head, you know, this rubber really grips down. So, I mean, I found myself a lot of times shooting doubles and stuff, you know, maybe, uh, you know, if your face is sweating, your lenses might move around a little bit, which is pretty annoying. This, I don't see that happening. So super cool. We had these in blue, you know, red, black, um, silver. So definitely have a lot of options here. And to see it on a frame and a lens together, this is it together. So super sleek looking, you know, like I said, really tight fitting. This is on an X6, so it will be a little bit wider. The 7 will probably be closed in about that much more for people with skinnier faces. But yeah, I mean, super pumped about these new frames. I think they're awesome. Um, like I said, lightweight. You know, I mean, for me, they serve the purpose, which I like. I mean, they fit like sunglasses and... You know, and to kind of step back to a lot of people that shoot, shoot with hats, a, a very common complaint is this top fork pushes up on top of their hat. So they either have to put it over their hat or inside their hat, um, which is why I like these so much is because I shoot with a hat on every event and these just go right behind your ear. So I don't need to worry about it hitting my hat no matter what hat I have on that day. Um, super cool. So then we'll kind of go into some cases. This is just the standard small carbon fiber case. It's designed to fit three. I fit six in it. Um, I've got six lenses and two frames. Uh, I will say it's very snug. I think the max you could do is maybe five lenses and two frames, um, but I just kind of cram mine in there. But super cool, really fun color with the orange. And I mean, they're, they're super sturdy cases. They're really hard. Everything's all metal lined. So, you know, it's really nice to know that I can have these you know, in the backseat of my car or whatever. And, you know, if something falls on them, they're not going to get damaged. And, you know, definitely very protective for such a nice item. And then this is the small clamshell case. So this lens, or this, this case is pretty new. Um, it does have the cool peel on top. We do have different colors in that, but I really like this. I think you can fit about four lenses in here with a set of frames, but it's just a little bit more compact. It's got the zipper right here. Pretty nice heavy duty zipper. And I mean, even for it being a fabricated case with a plastic liner, it still is pretty solid. I mean, I'm squeezing it pretty hard here and it's not bending it at all. So yeah, I mean, here it is. Here's, like I said, some of our most popular lenses. Super excited. And I mean, if anybody has any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, just, you know, if you want any input on some popular lenses, super happy to help. Or, you know, if you're interested in picking up a set of pillows today, you can shoot me a call, shoot Ryan Castani a call, or visit our website at www.shotgunswest.com. We'll catch you on the road.